Nearly a year before federal student loan payments restarted, the U.S. Department of Education warned that many borrowers could struggle to pay their bills again. Unless the education department is allowed to provide debt relief, we anticipate there could be an historically large increase in the amount of federal student loan delinquency and defaults as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, Education Department Undersecretary James Caval said in a court filing. The Supreme Court in June blocked President Joe Biden's plan to cancel up to $20,000 in student debt per borrower, and those warnings are now becoming real. To that point, just 60% of people with federal education loans, with payments due in October, paid their bill by mid-November, U.S. Department of Education data published this month shows. Outstanding student loan debt in the U.S. now exceeds $1.7 trillion, burdening Americans more than credit card or auto loan debt. The average loan balance at graduation has tripled since the 1990s to $30,000 from $10,000. Additionally, some 7% of student loan borrowers are now more than $100,000 in debt. Here's what experts have to say about the new findings. The fact that up to 40% of borrowers didn't make a payment, reflects exactly what we've been warning would happen should Biden turn the debt collection apparatus back on, said Astra Taylor, co-founder of The Debt Collective, a union for debtors. Faced with the impossible choice of feeding their kids, keeping a roof over their head or throwing an average of $400 a month into the Department of Education incinerator, borrowers are rightly choosing to keep themselves and their families financially afloat, Taylor said. This is, in essence, a massive student debt strike, she added. The Debt Collective has recently created a petition in which borrowers can write to the U.S. Department of Education and request that it cancel their student debt. So far, more than 35,000 people have done so, the organization says. The repayment problems for borrowers are, unfortunately unsurprising, said Persis Yu, Deputy Executive Director at the Student Borrower Protection Center. Neither borrowers nor the student loan system were prepared to resume repayment, Yu said. Even before the pandemic, when the U.S. economy was in one of its healthiest periods in history, Nearly half of student loan borrowers were behind on their payments or enrolled in relief measures for those struggling, including deferments or forbearances, according to an analysis by higher education expert Mark Kantrowitz. More from personal finance. IRS unveils disclosure program for businesses duped by pandemic-era tax credit three-year end investment tax tips from top-ranked financial advisors IRS waives $1 billion in penalties. Who qualifies and how much taxpayers may get meanwhile, you said, servicers are overwhelmed and are failing to help struggling borrowers navigate the options that are available to them.